Now, M. Night is is a one-trick pony. I mean, all of his films have got twisted. Now, spoilers, if you haven't seen the trailer, I, I haven't read, read the um, wiki page. I, I want to watch the, the trailer, but from what I gather, from, there's a serial killer who takes his daughter to a um, concert and a bloke in the um, queue for the toilet tells him that this police house are looking for a serial killer. Now, that is a, a twist in itself, you know, a, a bloke just taking his daughter out to a um, concert and it turns out he's a serial killer. That's one twist in the trailer. But the thing is, well, maybe M. Knight is stepping up his game because maybe there's, a, there's two twists <laughs> because probably the girl's going to be the um, serial killer. Maybe, maybe the, the um, people the um, father killed was actually vampires and he's the hero. But there's always a twist. And if there's a twist in the trailer, then there's going to be another twist in the film. So it's it's going to be two twists. This time, Bruce Willis wasn't dead. He's actually a vampire. You know, but um, yeah, I lost the interest in M. Night. I mean, Glass wasn't bad. But so many of his films suck. I mean, what was that one? Um... The Airbender, what's it called? Uh, oh, they've just done it again on Netflix. But man, that sucked. I really sucked. And the lady in the water, that sucked. The village, that sucked. Uh, anything with Samuel Jackson and Bruce Willis, that's fine. <laughs> but anything else that dude touched, it sucked. So I will watch it if it's streaming, but I, I'm, I'm not going to the cinema to watch this. I mean, there's, it's just twists. The twist is I was a killer all along. You know, it's just oh, not for me. 